everybody I wanted to go over the auto high beam with you all tonight as you can see you can hold down on the left hand side here and that will turn on your high beams but what happens when you're driving and you want to have your autos on so I have them on now my hand is now free and let's go for a little drive and see what happens they're staying with bright and we're coming up to a car right now and they've disengaged already so as soon as it sees that there's a car up ahead it will disengage the auto high beams so let's continue here now and let's go straight through and they've turned back on now that there are no cars in sight. It saw the car parked there, so it thought I was going into the back of it. Here we go. We have cars up ahead. Auto high beams are on. And they've shut off. There's a car coming. It detected those lights were up ahead. It's not perfect. There were times that it disengages and I think that's because we're not really on a dark street here. There's a lot of street lamps. So I think that's going to change a little bit in what it is able to detect and pick up. Uh, I could see being on a poorly lit road, it acting a lot better. Here it's looking for cars and lighting scenarios, I believe. So so far it's been pretty good I gotta say they're back on now let's continue a little bit here there's a car up ahead it's parked I wonder if it'll detect that there we go and it shut off as a car drove by So auto high beams, they seem to work really well. Uh, again, if you were in a, an area where you had very low di visibility around, not a lot of street lamps, uh, it's going to work a lot better. But it seems to be very good at picking up cars and knowing when to engage and disengage the auto high beams. So there they are, auto high beams in action. If anybody has any questions, please let me know. Leave a comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you all for watching. We'll have more videos out to you very soon.